FM, we are live and we're having a conversation about age gap relationships and why they still hit a nerve. Two articles have set off a round of back and forth over this. And there's a Netflix movie as well. It's called May December. Um, critics love this despite the backlash over the story being inspired by Mary Kay Letourneau, who infamously went to jail for sexually abusing her then 12 year old student. They went on to marry and have two kids before she died. Today, though, we're talking to people who were, are consenting adults, the true definition of May, December. Kamar and Tanya, who are 21 years apart, Mindy and Larry, 30 year gap, and John and Brian, who are 34 years apart. When I say those age gaps, you go, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> because, because when you hear it out loud, because I'm sure when you've bonded and connected, so it doesn't feel like that big of an age right. gap, does it? No, I, I, it's, it's funny. When we first started dating, and he had brought up the word age gap relationship, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I mean, obviously, I know I'm older than him, but it, it never really was in my vernacular an age gap right. relationship. Because, John, people wonder, what do you talk about? I mean, you know, there are a lot of celebrity couples who make headlines. We're not going to name any. But I have friends who say, what do they talk about? This huge age gap between the two, for some people, makes it hard in their minds to see a connection. Sure, and you know, sometimes he'll make references to things that just go completely over my head. <laughs> but for the most part, he is a very hip guy. Like he's up to date and with everything. We we have shared interests and it works, you know. Any relationship you enter into because you have shared interests. And so we do And have you that find time. those shared interests. I went on a date once with someone who was a little younger and Bobby Brown, my prerogative, came on. Oh, he was yeah. like, that was my favorite song in kindergarten. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I did not go on a second date. <laughs> I just felt, I'm 53, I was like, oh my gosh, I felt older. Kamar and Tanya, you're, you fell out with a friend. Tanya, one of mm -hmm. your close friends, was so upset by the age gap, stopped talking to you. Exactly, she was actually my best friend. Wow. And wow. so we pretty much talked on the phone every day for two to three hours a day. What was her issue? Um, uh, that, he mean, was, that he was younger, and not only that he was younger, but he was also from Jamaica, and here I am with my master's degree, a good job, so pretty much what can this kid do for you? Yeah. And so can you, if you can imagine just talking to somebody every day, to yeah. so not talking to them at all, not having that person to oh, share yeah. with, and so even our last conversation, it was very emotional, but at the end of the day, I said, you know, it's my life and her loss. Wow. <laughs> Kamar, how did that make you feel, knowing that it's her best friend, that she lost a friend for this love? It makes me feel bad, like I'm the one that come between their friendship. Mm. You know what I mean? But um, if she was a... I think if she was more a, a genuine friend and she really loves Tanya, yeah, she would have look, looked, past, looked past all of what's, you know, yeah. what's going on and just support. Tanya for Tanya, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I feel, I feel like really yeah. well. You know, I, I know that all of you have encountered just criticism and you're all still here together and smiling. Some of the comments, Mindy, you and Larry received on social were so vicious, you deleted some of them and I understand. And I'm all for delete. I will block and delete you in a second <laughs> if you are rude to me on social media. The backlash um, for you, included people referring to you as a gold digger, saying that you wanted Larry's pension. Mm -hmm. um, Larry, some people even called you a pedophile, which is just cruel. How do you shoulder that? Because I, it, these things, I mean, you know who you are. Right. But it, it stings. Yeah. It, it does. hurts. To read it and see it, you get this rush of heat to the face and through the body. It's, it sucks to read it. But at the end of the day, we know that's not true. That's not what's really going on. I was an adult, you know what I mean? It's just, we know what's true in the relationship. People's opinions on your relationship doesn't really matter, and that's something that you have to grasp and work on. Yeah. How did you work on that, Larry? I didn't have as big of a problem with it as Mindy did. Uh, through work, I've been called names that you will never even hear. Yeah. Um, so. It, and I've said before, I think in one of her videos, if it's someone that's very close to me that I have a lot of time and, and um, energy invested in, and they would say something like that, it would be hurtful. Mm -hmm. But for me to be affected by somebody that I've never met, probably never will meet, don't know, have a day. <laughs> have a day, have a day. 
You, um, you, you want to react to it. Yeah, you want... You, you want to react to it because you, you get this... I mean, just two days ago, I, I read a comment on, from one of our videos, and they said, oh, yeah, John's living the life with someone who could be his grandfather. Oh. Well, first off, I'm not that old, okay? <laughs> but... It, and, and you want to react to it right away and be like, blah, 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 yeah. but, but you don't because... You want to think of the other 99% of the people that support you and love you mm -hmm. and don't care about this right. age gap thing. So I'm yeah. curious. It's true. It's true. Well, coming up, it's one of the biggest controversies around age gap couples, having children. When we come back, how do you talk about that when there's an age gap that may be preventing it from happening? When we come back. Hi, Tamron. It's Casey. And I'm here with my husband, Henry. We have a 29-year age gap in our relationship. The last time you heard from us, Casey and I shared the story of how we met. Casey sent a text message to a wrong number. Spoiler alert, it was me, and now we've fallen in love. You might remember that after we got married, Henry actually donated a kidney to me. And he's been right by my side recently for another health battle. On October 4th, I found out that I had colon cancer. It was really scary to get that news. I just wanted to be as supportive as possible. In November, I had surgery. And on December 5th, I found out that I was cancer free. The silver lining in all of this is that it truly brought us even closer together. Oh my gosh, I love updates from our TAMFAM guests. Thank you for sharing. And Casey, we are so happy you're cancer free. We've been discussing the age gap debate and we're back with our couples, Kamar, Tanya, Mindy and Larry and John and Brian who all have age gap relationships. <clears throat> so this is so interesting because we polled our audience here and at home. Uh, according to the psychology today, people are more disapproving of age gap relationships when the woman is older than the man. I was shocked to hear that because I, you know, you always hear again, the, the, the comments about the older man versus, so you fall in, Tanya, you're the only one standing here on this one. How does, <laughs> that's an interesting, I was shocked. I mm -hmm. thought it would be the opposite. Yeah. But society, according to this study, women are viewed more negatively when the guy's younger. Why yeah, do you think, think that is? I think it's more so because we disagree with what we don't understand. Mm. And so, you know, with men, when they're younger, it's like a, a level of immaturity mm -hmm. that's there that people think um, instead of just trying to get to know the person. So when Kemar and I have conversations, to me, it's just like I'm talking to somebody my own age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the question, though, about children. We saw the quote from Sofia Vergara. Have you all discussed... Uh, raise your hands if you talked about children in the relationship. So all of you have. Mm -hmm. um, Mindy and Larry, how did you address that issue? Before we got married, we really talked about it. And at first, I was okay with not having children, but as that wedding was coming closer, I was like, but what if I'm not? What if we really want children? We talked about it and we knew it was gonna be a really long road because he had had a vasectomy 25 plus years ago. So we knew the journey was gonna be hard and we went for it. He had the sperm extraction procedure, all the things. And we, sorry, <laughs> sorry, TMI. Um, but we got there, we made it, and we had... Well, I should tell people, you started IVF journey oh. three years ago, uh -huh. and now you have a one-year-old, Liam. <laughs> This is your family photo. Um, Larry, you did it. I did it. <laughs> you got little Liam there. I know that you had a lot of trepidation, worried about, I, I don't know if the language was robbing her of this experience. Some people use that language, but here you are. How does it feel now? You got a one, how old are you now? I'm 50, no, I'm not. <laughs> I yeah. tried. 62. You're 62. Yeah. And you have a one-year-old. How does that feel? He is just a little bundle of joy. Yeah. He is a miracle baby that, that is just brightens your day. Yeah. John and Brian, you've talked about it. We've talked about it. It would certainly change our lifestyle quite a bit, as, yeah. as, chi as children kids do. do. But I've seen him be an uncle to his nieces and nephews, and you're just an amazing person that I, I would love to be a parent with you. So it's, it's a and, conversation. And we say that, like, and our concern is, what if I pass away and the kid's yeah. in high school? Like, yeah. is how traumatic I is that? I do that like, every, John, every day. I like, wake right, up and I'm like, oh, my mean, gosh. John, yeah. John, lost his dad at a very, very young yeah. age. And, you know, so, but as I say to him, we just have to live each day, like, 
it is our last. I know that sounds no, very it's cliche, no, it's sounds true, very it's true. cliche, but right. we do that. So I don't want I I'm not sure how to do it. Well, I know how to do it, but I'm just like <laughs> I'm just but you know you know what I mean. I know. It's yeah. like it, it's terrifying. It's, and it's, no matter what, listen. I the, what I when I shared that I was pregnant at 48, there were people who said, you know, you should feel guilty. You're going to die before this child turns a certain age. And then my mother, who lost her mom at a young age, my mom was 10 when her mother died. She said, you could be 20 and die. You could be 30 and exactly. die. My mother's, you know. Yes. So you don't know that. You don't know. Um, Tanya, you have a child already. You have a child already. Obviously, it's a different dynamic for women. Our bodies have different mm -hmm. limitations. Um, have you talked about it, Kamar? Yes, we both sit and talk about having a child together. We even try, you know, and my wife have, <laughs> my wife have, um, like, four miscarriage yeah. along the way. So it's not like we're not trying, you know what I mean? So it's, it's just God and time. God it will happen in the right time. Well, I appreciate you. As I said, we found you because everybody's been talking about these relationships for obvious reasons, but I'm so happy we're just celebrating your love. Yeah. So congratulations yeah. on that with the baby. Shout out and thank you to Kamara, Tanya, Mindy, Larry, John, and Brian.